Let's go. <laughs> Black Army. Good to see you boys. This is what I want to see. Good to see your things in chat, mentor. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. Appreciate it. First battle underway. We have Black Army, Walfort versus the Slavs from EU2. They say it's a mixed bag though. Like you can see here we have a nice setup of the different units. Modal is banned and Flamers, uh, like Javcab are banned guys. So as you can see, we won't see any of that. Lots of Shorsars on the sides of Slavs uh, along with a few Musket players and Mauls as well. Three Pike players as well. Interesting, interesting. On the attack, we have a lot of Mauls. And short swords once again, and a couple couple little range classes here. You've got a couple of muskets, and only one pike on the attack. Um, Salamanders there, Ben Stark, great players. Necrox, I know and have played with it for a while now over on NA server. Now moved over to EU one. Hello, 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 guys. Welcome to the chat. Remember, there is a ten minute delay, so we will be missing out from me. There's no artillery as well, guys. So even though they've got artillery pieces, there will be no artillery used today. So if we see that. That will be a bannable offence and technically you will take a loss and a big loss on that battle. Um, and if they use the units that are banned, that is also a disqualification. So we will keep an eye out, always paying attention, but seems like we are good for now. Just they can use the artillery that is on the map and that is it. Obviously Trebs on the attack they have as well. And let's go. We'll go Z, we'll go up and up and up and up and up and up. And we'll take the tab map down as well. We will close these a second as well. And oh, as you can see, guys, Slavs from the very get go are coming out of the front gate here with cavalry. You have deja vu. And Slat Knob obviously going straight around the side here, trying to wipe the units here at the very, very start. Very interesting strategy. Everybody's trying to break into this wall. Look at this. This is what we want to see. Some straight off battles of two pike players from the Slavs coming around the back. But there is range units around there. And they're all realizing that they're losing out here. Necrox is down. Captain Team Captain is down straight away from the start. You've got a couple of cav charges in here from Armagers. This is a very nice wee start here. Deja Vu is taken down by Essie and the guys have lost all their cav. Deja Vu. Oh, there's another hero down as well. Kako is being taken down. But now that is the retreat from the Slavs. Slavs will make their way back across to the bridge and uh, slow them down enough to stop them getting up on the wall. Shepo is down as well. He's got and he's down to Famaros there, and then the rest of them are climbing up the wall. We'll zoom out here and see what's going on in the bridge here. Um, as you can see, Yu Wong has held open the gates, and nobody can get out there. He has his halberdiers, uh, well, the lanchnecks in the gate holding that off. Well, we sort of push up the bridge. Bridge is underway though. This is going to be the, the forceful push. Are they going to take the bridge down? Is the bridge coming down? Is the question from here, as you can see. Quite a quite a good chance here. Units on the other end of the bridge. Silent Wraith is out of the fight just now. He has just been taken out by Zaku. I don't know where these fights are going on. I can't even see heroes. But you've got Deja and Yu Wong trying to fight there back through the gateway. But people have been have been a few deaths here. Good stuff from this very start. So bridge is down, which means it is a change of plan here for Black Army. They're gonna have to change things up a bit. They can't no longer go there. The siege towers are still making their way towards the wall. One of only one available at this point in time. So Yu Wong still holding out as long as he could down at the front gate here. As you can see, Yu Wong just battling, just battling, just battling. Right there we go. We'll go more aerial here for a second, just so we can see a wider strategy view here of this. As you can see though. Just using the artillery that's on the map, trying to take out as much as they can. But the siege tower here, is it going to reach? It is very close. But Kazaki, Zurichon and Bodyfest all jump down here to take the units out to slow that push down. Can they take it down? Muskets are fighting in the wall as well. They're trying to bomb it as much as they can. All the artillery has been taken out now and no longer can take the siege tower down. Gate has been closed as well. And uh, 
Yeah, boys are trying to fight as hard as they can to stop it. Kuakao is down. We're going to go down to the wall here a little bit better here. So you can see Sirokon has been taken out here as well. So a couple of heroes down on the Slav side of things, but it has slowed the push of that Siege Tower. Very interesting. I don't think they are going to close it down, though. We do have some Jav trying to take out the Siege. Oh, and it has. It's took it out just at the very last second. That is a great, great slowdown method here. But the far right Siege Tower seems to be the way forward here, as you can see the rotation. See a full rotation set here from the whole Black Army side. Siege Tower on the far right has reached and is underway. And then we're going to zoom in onto this part here because this is going to be the major fight here, as you can see. Boys are retreating from Slavs. They're taken away from the wall. They don't want to lose units straight away. Obviously, the Treb is in play. And now it's just a full push on this right-hand side wall with Slavs trying to defend. Just a couple of units up there that are going to stay there. The majority of the players will keep their units away from the top end because it's definitely not what you want to be defending against the Trebs. And once you all set up here, We'll see what happens. Fort Abrasios and plenty of Fort Abrasios and Lanchnex all set up for this push forward here. But as you can see, we have got more units from Slavs coming around the back. A lot of them hidden in the back here, but also being pummeled in the back from the units in the back here. We've got some Namcan archers in the back. And then when it comes to the grand scheme of units here, There comes the push from Black Army now. They're moving all of your units, and as you can see, six heroes deaths. Oh, hero kills. Six hero kills on the side of a uh, Black Army versus the two. But I need to move this out of the way because this thing just gets in the way. We're going to silent laugh just now, and we'll zoom out here. Big push on the home point here. On the A point is the first push. Lots of units pushing in. We've got Flamers in the back here. Fort Abrasio set up. There will be Trebs incoming. I'm sure Trebs will be used here at this point in time. We've got quite a lot of units all snacked up at the back here. But nothing in this point in time is getting used in the push. Here comes the Trebs now that we warned. Which is dangerous at the back there. It does take out a lot of the units in the back. But Black Army's units are whittling down. And there is... A good pushback here from Slavs. Slavs forcing the Black Army units and heroes back. Well, Kazuku <laughs> dies down to the ground here. Black Army being pushed to the very back. Falconetti's at the back here, which are going to be taken out from the Slavs. They force their units. Iron Reapers coming along. And that is a very, very good wipe from Slavs. Trebs inbound. Will this Treb take out some units here in the background here? As you can see, they are slowly pushing the units and heroes back. But Slavs won't overcommit it because hey, there is no need for an overcommit here. This is a good defense. Units have got chance to go back down. Oh, hi boys, hi boys, hi boys. Good stuff. Gumo, last person to die there. And as you can see, well, now we've got a little break in the in the unit traits here. We will have a look here. As you can see, now with the hero kills, we have Slavs with 11 hero kills now. 10 hero kills for the Black Army, but unit-wise, Slavs still have 1,054 units against 871 units of the Black Army. There is still 12 Trebs available in this, and they will be keep coming up this side of the map. As you can see, Slavs building their uh, defensive systems back up as they went to heal and get their units back to full health as much as possible. They will be back in here. As you can see, we have some Palace Guards here. We've got some IPGs. Coming from the Black Army side. And then we've got some more IPGs. More IPGs. Is that some woodcutters? That's what we want to see. Potentially but, uh, Black... Uh, oh, Palace Guards there as well. Necklock's baiting the Treb there. But the Treb has moved out of the way. Not you know, much done in terms of that Treb there. Um, but Black Army set up once again on this far right hand side wall. Well, Black... Uh, army push. Slavs are kind of holding back just now. Still waiting them on down with some Jav. Waiting around the back here. Trebs are pre-trebs obviously from Black Army as they push forward to that point hoping that units push on. And it does do quite a good job there as you can see. We do get a good wee push going forward here. Tony in the midst of things with Silent Wraith up front there trying to force the units back. 
There's only 1 minute 45. They have to get onto this point and they have to push this point here. They have blocked off the Slavs there with Fortabrasio on the right hand side. Well, they push this point. But Trebs incoming. That's down to 9 Trebs left. But Slavs are not giving up this wall. They have lots of units pushing forward onto the point. With 1 minute and 27 no, seconds left, we are very close to this. How is your predictions, guys? This is where we're going to find out what happens here on the predictions. The Treb is coming in again. Good fight on the home point. One Maul is holding his own there on the back. You've got Surakong on the point with... Oh, Lanchnik charge coming through. That's going to hold the point for that a little bit longer. We have another one minute left to hold out for the Slavs. They have got Jav at the back. They've got Falconetti spamming through it. But all of the Black Army units seem to have been whittled away. They are down. There is no units left for this push. Well, players are going down. Silent Rave goes down there. Tony is trying to force himself onto the cap. There is 40 seconds left. There is almost no time left for the cap here. Slavs have defended so valiantly on the point there. And as you can hear, some Cav is now being capped. But Fizzy, I don't think, has the time. If we can get some units onto that point for one second, I think that is it. an easy win here for the Slavs. Seven Trez are still available left on this attack, but as you can see, 780 units on the defense versus 477 units from Black Army. Cavalry is now going out of the point now. Now we're just going off and showing off here. What, what units have we got out here? This is what, is this Keshex? We've got lots of Keshex going out, wiping up the unit as Juggerson goes down. Yuong's dead. Siberia's off the wall, and here comes more sets of Cav. And that is all she wrote, boys. Red team wins, which means the Slavs are the winners of that first battle. As you can see, Matt, on the defensive sides, uh, we've got General Combo with a free hero kills, 14 assists. Look at that, smashing it in the assisted uh, musket player doing some work. Uh, Gumo with four hero kills as well, and Zaku with five hero kills. A good fight from them. Uh, over on the defensive sides, a really difficult thing. Matt did a good job of getting four hero kills and the nine assists. Tony with 10 assists as a short sword. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult one. That is, it's a difficult one. Um, good fight, all in all, from everybody there. But as you can see, it was dominated from this little cav run out at the start. Seven hundred and twenty p, dude. I mean, I'm not a partner, mate. I don't get any higher than that. I'm sorry. That's all you're going to be able to get from me. <laughs> if you, if I was a partner, maybe we'd get more. But we don't. We don't get seven higher than seven twenty, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, as you can see, lots of the fight was on a. And um, once they, they took the bridge out, it had to force Black Army and to go into the Treb and the, what, the Siege Tower on this far right hand side because other Siege Towers were taken out. But because they were all forced into that one direction, Slavs knew where to position their units in the defense. And yeah, it was a fantastic battle. Um, good fight. Oh no, I'm going to have to set up for the next battle. It's going to be the other way around. So we're going to be doing another wall fall 